we have to understand that elections are not carried in a vacuum in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Elections are carried uh, through the constitutions and the parameters and the frames of a uh, constitution. Mm -hmm. There could be a margin of error here and there. But uh, as long as it's not that big to cause uh, the courts or the, 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 the Wananchi to say it's enough to make a certain decision, negative decision, mm -hmm. then uh, it's, it's right. For example, in this case, like I'm saying, constitutionally, if IBC declares that uh, uh, William Ruto is the winner, yeah. then if you have a dispute, you go to court with the evidence that uh, he, uh, William Ruto is not actually the winner. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you look at uh, August 9th general election, everything was uh, it was in public. The court proceedings uh, were public. Mm -hmm. So the portal was there for everybody to do their mathematics. And uh, what we saw in court, first of all, let us start with the, the frames or the structure of our voting. The technology that was employed. Was there any evidence proved in the court of law? And when you talk of the court of law, I'm talking about the constitution. That's mm -hmm. why I say if you want to look at this from outside the constitution, that's okay for you. I don't care. You can say whatever you want to say. But if you come back and say constitution is our mother and father, mm -hmm. then we can have a meaningful discussion. And uh, look at it that way. Is there evidence that uh, numbers were manipulated. Mm -hmm. The court said there was no evidence, and everybody saw there was no evidence. Mm 